Hello guys, Lord Levin is here. Welcome back to Cossack's Revenge for today. This is 3 vs 3 ranked game. This previous campaign of course, because for now there is not such format of ranked games. Okay, seems like I'm playing as... Nope, Lord Levin. Yep, this is Aktuaka. These, these are my opponents. Okay, let's now see. Yep, here I am. I'm playing as Austria here, and my allies are Ukraine and Saxony. Okay, very good alliance. Austria and Saxony allied with Ukraine, and we are facing who we are facing. This is Spain, uh, this is Netherlands. Yep, this is Netherlands, and this is Algeria. Yep, they have changed their positions. Okay, good. Okay, on four, it's me. Yep, now it's very good. I'm, I have a very good position because I'm in very rare. I'm protecting from the north east, northwest with my Ukrainian ally and the uh, south east with my Saxonian ally, and I can uh, peacefully live in peace and. But yeah, I think about war and building up the 17th century barracks to help my allies over there. Okay, peacetime was peacetime is left seven minutes. Yeah, after seven, yeah, uh, the peacetime was ten minutes, and after seven minutes, I will show the dynamic score there. Yeah, seems like Saxony is building mighty army here yep yep this spectrum maybe I have heard about these guys spectrum yep I don't know I don't remember okay okay what's, Ugri what's about Ukraine he has got two Serduk house Cossack house sorry and one stables good now he has got the academy Yep, I'm doing the standard way, two town halls, two 17th century barracks, now I'm building up my academy and afterwards I will attach many and as much peasants as possible on the zones and afterwards build up the uh, diplomatic center. Okay, seems like I have 78 against 74, 71, 58. Okay, yep, some units are suspended because my stock of food are too low. Yep, finally he has got the diplomatic center. Okay, Ukraine does not have that for now. What's about me? I don't have either. Yep, that's why this guy is far away from us. He's um, improving his camp and his playstyle very well yeah production still i have problems with my production but i'm not buying the food i don't know why this is a very old reply here and yeah for now i think i have better skills and i can show myself better in this game okay no mind anyway we are here and we are trying okay what Saxon is doing he's regrouping his army there's a drama okay Saxonian drama is going to scout okay Ukraine is trying to cover every mineral on his territory and it's very risky because enemy can capture your peasant and try to build up your camp, your own camp and after that there would be the civil war because Ukrainians will face Ukrainians okay yep my guys I can't create because I have problems still have problems okay have I upgraded uh, Yep, I have upgraded this upgrade and this upgrade as well, but 
I have not attached enough peasants to yeah finally I have I have bought uh, finally I have bought food yep oranges scouting very well okay look how well his economy is working because he can create so many grenadiers what's about me have I Yep, I don't have enough, even the diplomatic center. Even Ukraine has the diplomatic center and he's creating the archers in round years. Okay, drummers are walking back and forward. Okay, still have problems and yep, it's very bad. I'm very, yep, that's why I have 100. Uh, while 116, 137. Yeah, but I'm playing even with even quality with this Algeria and what's here, Netherlands. Okay, Algeria, Algeria. He's not creating the troops or he doesn't, he doesn't have enough housing okay finally I have managed to create series 3 uh, battalion including series 3 uh, series 3 pikes there which I am great Okay, it seems that the peace time is over and let's see the statistics screen. Yep, the red one and the orange one are even at this moment. There, there is Ukraine and Algeria and we are with the same level, this blue one, Netherlands and me. Okay, what kind of uh, upgrade they have? They have yeah, many of them have upgraded this uh, wood cutting efficiency. I have upgraded the field capacity and the stone excavation efficiency. Okay, they have nearly the same. Okay, afterwards, core dynamics. Yep, yeah, who is that? That's, that's the Ukraine. Afterwards, the red one. The red one is pain. And I am here. About two enemies. Okay, okay then. Peasants, pair pikes, they have uh, red one. Spain has created 164 pikes. And what's about mercenaries? Mercenaries, siege cossacks, archers, light infantrymen. What's about spectrum? 173, a bit more than Spain. But grenadiers, look how many grenadiers he has created, 145, it's very good. Pharaon, he has got 161 and very poor amount of mercenaries. Lord, yep, I have, yeah, look at my, 96 I have created. Bocharov, yep, he has many archers, mercenary rangers, register Cossacks and Tercer Dukes. Sir Dukes, I can say that Sir Dukes are very good and very tough. And 70 Ottoman pikemen, he has got this Hector. Hector is uh, Netherlands. Okay, let's return to game and let's let the war begin here. I am still yeah, this red line. I hate this red line. Okay, Spectrum is going forward. He has got many pikes, he has got, okay, let me see his pikes, yep, he doesn't have the fifth upgrade, but they are still good. Okay, now he will go and smash these Algerian troops, they have the desperate uh, move to create some uh, grenadiers here, but look, Spectrum is coming like an all here. Here Ukraine has a problems. Yep. Yeah. Because Ukraine and uh, Netherlands 
to Ukraine and Netherlands, oh, not Ukraine, Spain and Netherlands are smashing this Ukrainian subjects here. And yeah, somehow I decided to send my 63 uh, pipes to help them. Okay, seems like uh, no one can help Argelia, but uh, no one can help our Ukraine as well. Yep, he has got the Hetman. Hetman is going there, killing the Cossacks. Yep, but Hetman is dead as well. Okay, now they are burning, burning their stables. Yep, strange. Okay, Spectrum is going for going to the north. Yep, I'm creating my Zich Cossacks. Finally, my pikes came on time. Yep, <laughs> it's it's not on time, you know. Okay, and my pikes are repelling these Spanish troops. Yep, my pikes are dead. And they are now chasing the Ukrainian peasants. Okay, seems Algeria has oh very low. Yep, still I have low food. Okay, I have got the Ukraine. No, this is for my ally. I haven't captured anything. Yep, and they are coming to the south. And let's see how many uh, how many soldiers do I have. Yep, finally I have destroyed that one. Yep, Spectrum is going up to kill these Netherlands. Yep, Netherlands is going back to help his camp, but all in vain, because Spectrum is very near now and he will, he will destroy this nation as well. Okay, seems I have to repel them and uh, now I'm creating my grenadiers here. Okay, I have bought finally I have bought this food. Okay, there are there are some pikes and Algerian archers. Okay, yeah, Spectrum was uh, Orange was chasing the Algerian troops. Yeah. Okay, finally he has attacked me. My guys came from the uh, from the east to kill these archers, and it seems that I can repel this. Uh, I could repel. Uh, where is the red one? Okay, here is the red one. I repel the Spanish troops from my camp. But now the Spanish and all the rest of Danish troops, um, our camp Dutch troops are coming to help their camp. But yet now the buildings are bearing the orange flags. This is the last chance for uh, for Netherlands. Okay, their grandiers are going in melee combat. Okay, step by step they will kill all the Dutch pikes. Okay, good job. Okay, I'm chasing this uh, I'm chasing these peasants, Ukrainian peasants. And I try to recapture everything. Yep. Hitlerland was trying to uh, rebuild Ukrainian town here, but I won't give you a chance for that. Okay. Now Spectrum is regrouping. He's creating Algeria. He is building up Algeria, he has got Saxony and he has got Netherlands. Good. Now our victim is Spain. Spain is 1 and we are 2. 
even two and a half. Okay, it's time to smash, it's time to smash Spain now. Okay, pikes are coming to kill the light infantrymen. Okay, so many Cossacks were chasing my my Cossack battalion here, but in vain. He need all his troops here. Okay, so my grenadiers, 85 grenadiers are going to the north. Okay, he's regrouping. Let's see from the point of uh, red. Okay, now he's, uh, he sees that he's surrounding. Uh, the main troops of orange are there to the east. Now he's gathering another bunch of soldiers to the south. I am coming. Somehow I'm coming to the west and it's hard. Okay, he's not giving up. This guy is not giving up. He's building up his uh, Ukrainian town as well. Okay, what's going on here? Here Orange will will be defeated because he has got many archers and not the pikes to resist these uh, Spanish pikes and siege Cossacks. Okay, yep. But it's mostly even, you know. Because these archers have destroyed these pikes. Only few of them are left. Seven of them are left. And the archers are left here. And he's now retreating. Okay, finally I arrived to his camp. And now step by step I'm trying to kill his units. Okay, I'm supporting these Hetmans yet. They are very tough. Okay, he could not repel me, and it's great because he had not enough troops now, because he's concentrated on the uh, eastern part of this battle. Because so many archers are approaching. Yep, finally, Celtics are in action. Okay, we'll walk back here. Yeah, this is in the diplomatic center. Okay, I have left few of my grenadiers. But Ukraine is going up. Yeah, Celtics are very tough. Okay, finally they are in and they are in the center of uh, Spanish camp. Capture this. Okay, he has surrendered. Okay, now this guy is left. And Cossacks are going there. And by the way, <laughs> Algeria is trying to do something. Oh, they have the meal as well. Okay, finally we will... Uh, yeah, look, it's very strange. In this black sp space, they are hiding themselves. And now we are chasing and we are looking for them. Yeah, great. But he's not gathering food. Maybe he has quit it as well. Okay, finally they they are they are really revealed and Mamelux will come. Okay, good. Now Orange has put it and everything's done. Let's see now the statistics screen. Okay, so many mercenaries, light infantrymen he has created and archers. Zich Cossacks 150. What's about economy? 200. 200 peasants he has created. Wood and stone he has quarried here. Okay. 
peasants. Yeah, a demi peasants he has created only 40, but archers nearly 650. Round cheers, mercenaries, and so on. Oh, yeah, this is this was the Algerian peasants. Let's see the Saxonian peasants. Yeah, Saxonian peasants, 180 there are. And what about me, 252, and Pikes, 360. Yep, yeah, it was enough. Uh, it was enough to defeat them. But uh, I have to mention that Orange Guy was very good. He did the most of the job, and um, the allies of Spain were not so uh, were not so hard to defeat this Hector and Pharaoh. Okay, guys, if you like my videos and want more, don't forget to subscribe below. Thank you very much. Next episodes are coming soon. Bye bye.